taking the boys' day down to the sidecar. Ready? Ready. Best luck. The boys both wear suits. They look at each other, steal themselves, and start towards the building. You right? Yes. Bit nervous. Yes. A pair of heavy black boots, in which the boys are reflected, clomp down in front of them, standing in their way is an enormous guardsman. Get loose before I thump ya. Norman mouths tell him to Cyril. He's my father. Prove it. What? Prove it or hop it. In army uniform. Nanny but see, ma! The burly guardsman takes his rifle from his shoulder and spins it round in a military drill. He stamps his foot firmly. That is Ralph. She steps closer. Certainly did, ma. How's the army treating you? Bradley, ma. Have you learned to eat your greens? His eyes flip nervously. No. I can't lie to you, Nanny McFree. Broccoli still presents a challenge. Try it with cheese. And don't forget, in May and June, asparagus can be a pleasant alternative. She glances at Cyril and Norman. I should answer for these children. Please let them in immediately. On the double, Nanny McPhee, Ma. He turns on his heel and the boys follow him towards an entrance flanked by piled up sandbags. They look back at Nanny McPhee to see that she has magically transformed out of the brown army uniform and back into her dabby black outfit. The boys follow Sergeant Jeffries through the lobby. They take a lift to the 100th floor and march through a tactical gunning room where a huge map is laid flat across the table. Uniformed staff use wooden sticks to push small plastic tanks and spit wires into position on the map. But the 